everybody. I'm Tony Brugman with Dog on It Dog Training and Sit Mean Sit Dog Training here in Phoenix, Arizona. With me today is some staff, some of my clients, and uh, Fred Hassan is our special guest from Las Vegas, Nevada. And the command. Now obviously Fred has some helping tools on him to aid and assist him. Uh, so he's not just running behind him going, boom, puppy, boom. <laughs> so he's got a nice little line on him. And he's going to help get some manners on these town puppies so they can be more adoptable. And once in a while, this man comes home with a puppy. <laughs> so, not that he doesn't have a household, but sometimes you know how one dog is just particularly special. But one of the other neat things is that those trainers get to go in there and have hands on lots of different dogs. And many times the neat thing there is that they also go home with you to do a very advanced protection. A uh, sport called Ring, Ring Sport, and the dog is supposed to go up and push something on the wall. And we use it for all kinds of fun things. It's a good target. It's just some skill that we need to direct to where we at. We're going to up to the park like this all of the time. And um, the other thing we're going to do with you, Warren, is we're going to let you show the stinker case. That's a leash. She doesn't like a leash, so we show you how Hank likes, because he doesn't need one, how he likes to handle do what you were doing with the leash. Stable. He knows how to use his balance. He's not. He's going to be less likely to get hurt. Okay. So she was excited when she called us and she wanted to help us with some of the demonstrations. She was kind of excited to come. Not just because she liked me, but because they were doing some testing with the bees. Uh, this is the after the bees. She's doing some flashy obedience. She's kind of like what I was asking all of you to do, which is pay attention to me, do some exercises. We're, we're working here together as a team. Now, I, I assume we have somebody hidden over right Yes. Okay. So, we have somebody hidden. I don't know where they're hidden. And we're going to ask the us to go and find them. Now, you may say, well, there's all these people. What, how does he know what to find? Elise explained to us yesterday that her dog is trained to find somebody that's concealed. It's all human scent, but it's somebody that's hidden. And so, he's seen enough training pictures because of the time that she's done her training in all different areas and So she asked me to go look for the left. He looked in the tunnel yesterday. Yes, 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 And it's hard for us to understand how incredible a dog's nose is, because we obviously haven't a clue of any kind of sense that to be out there. But we all know that dogs, you know, are, are out there checking territory and marking things all of the time because the noses are so incredible. I read somewhere that they have a million times the, the scent receptacles than we do. Pretty, probably pretty good that we don't smell it. They smell everything. We probably smell pretty bad about it. Um, but he's out there looking on the other side of that wall, and I think he just found them. Is that it, Lisa? Okay, yeah, he's, he's, he's barking and he's staying in place. So he just made a time, and let's see. There he is! Down. Down. 